Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing three new items I've added to my wardrobe from Nordstrom along with a few of the different ways I plan to style them. The Nordstrom anniversary sale has just kicked off with early access for Icon members and then public access to the sale will open up from the 15th of July so not very far away at all. I've done so many videos in the past sharing my tips and tricks on the best way to shop the sale and I will have a blog post with all that information along with my favorite picks from the sale linked down in the description box below if you want to go and check that out. Highly recommend you do it. So I've kind of gone through everything and cherry picked all the best bits. Uh, before I actually share with you the items that I purchased, I do want to show you what I think is probably one of the best deals in the sale and that is Dun, 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 the All Saints Balfour leather jacket. I was so surprised to see that this was included in the sale last year. I think it was even in the year before and they've again brought it back for the 2022 anniversary sale. I've had my Balfour leather jacket for a number of years. I actually bought mine directly from All Saints and it is such a good classic biker style and the fact that you can get it for I think it's 40% off is just amazing. Um, and for those of you who don't know what the Nordstrom anniversary sale is, uh, it essentially allows you to purchase uh, current season items at up to 40% off. So you're buying it on sale before the season begins, which is why it is so incredible and why I think there's so much hype around it every single year. So I just wanted to mention this one. It does run small. I've got the UK 8 or the US 4 and I actually need a size up. I would say size up two sizes if you plan on wearing particularly chunky knits with it as it is a very close cut. Now let's kind of dive into the actual items that I've added to my wardrobe. The first one is a printed tee. And it's kind of funny because it didn't hit me until the items arrived that they're all in a very similar color family. They're all blue. Uh, I have been wanting to add a little bit more color into my wardrobe and I thought that a graphic tee would be a really great place to start. Something really easy that I could effortlessly incorporate into the outfits that I'm already wearing on a regular basis. Now this particular t-shirt is from Farm Rio and if you really are into quite bold vibrant prints then it's definitely a brand to watch. They've got some really really cool stuff. Uh, but I personally just really liked the t-shirt. They did also have a yellow one which I was considering getting but I felt like the blue was probably a really good place to start. I like that it actually says that it's the color of serenity because it does actually make you feel quite serene and calm looking at it. I did size up to a medium because I wanted it to be a relaxed fit but it already is so I would say stick true to size unless you like the way that it fits on me then go up a size. So the first way that I paired this t-shirt was with some high-waisted trousers and a pair of sandals. I really like the idea of mixing something that is a little bit more casual and relaxed with an item that is typically considered a bit more dressed up and for me this really has that push-pull that little bit of friction which I think adds a really interesting component to outfits. Because the t-shirt and the trousers are both sort of relaxed I went for a shoe that was very kind of minimal that just had a simple strap across the foot bearing my ankles which highlights a really slim element of my leg so that is the first way that I would pair this t-shirt the second way that I decided to pair it was very much with business casual in mind so I've opted to wear it with a mini skirt and then I've got a really big oversized blazer on top and some black pumps this is definitely the kind of outfit that I would have worn in corporate on a Friday but perhaps with a slightly longer skirt. Definitely something that feels like it's got a huge chunk of my style DNA while still remaining within that kind of sphere of workwear attire but injecting that little bit of playfulness which I think is something that you can definitely do when it comes to casual Fridays. Um, but yeah I, I really like the way that this looks with black particularly. And then for the last outfit I've opted for a really sort of casual weekend look. So I've paired it with these really oversized exaggerated cotton culottes that I've got from Lee Matthews. They're in navy so you can kind of see it's a little bit of a tonal look that I've got going on here because I'm also wearing a denim jacket thrown over the top. This does create a really big oversized silhouette. It kind of is almost slightly shapeless so again I've gone with a really fine dainty sandal because I find that just helps to tie it all together. You could also roll up the sleeves on the denim jacket a little bit more or take it off entirely so that you've got your arms exposed. It's all about figuring out and playing with proportions in terms of the way that you styled an item in order to figure out a way that really works for you and that you feel comfortable with. So the second piece that I purchased is really really fun and quite a loud item especially for me. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone but also not at the same time. It is this really really pretty baby blue kind of leopard cheetah print maxi dress. The elements of this dress that really feel connected to my sort of style DNA, my personal style, are the really thin spaghetti straps. I 
especially love this detail on a lot of my dresses the fact that it is sort of more of a loose fitting maxi length dress as well and it's also in a typically classic print however the thing that makes this really fun is that it's more of a baby blue color as opposed to that very classic champagne sort of medium brown shade that you would expect to see a leopard print in and that was what really drew me to it and also that it is more of a jacquard fabric so it has a lot more structure to it and you can really see that in the try-ons that I'm going to show you the ways that I would style it. I also like the fact that you can adjust the straps as well which is very cool. Uh, I did opt to get it in I think a 34 no I got it in a 36 but 34 also would have been great and also worth mentioning that it has pockets too so first way to wear it is just as is um, obviously it is a really balloony oversized silhouette so this is definitely better suited for someone who is taller or if you are on the petite end of the spectrum I would say go for something a little bit shorter they did have a really cute little mini skirt actually in the same fabric so I might link that one down in the description box below um, but I paired it with some nude strappy heels to give me some height and I think the key to sort of making a dress like this that is really voluminous and that is kind of shapeless as well in a way and typically quite unflattering actually is to keep it really simple so I've not worn anything underneath I've got my arms exposed I don't have a jacket that's sort of adding any extra bulk and then the shoes themselves are actually quite dainty with really fine straps and being a new color they almost look one with my feet which kind of gives me that little bit of extra height boost and I find it's a really flattering shoe choice with this dress then I did want to show you how it looks with a top layer underneath so I've paired it with my Cezanne I think it's called the Dita top love this piece and I like the little tortoiseshell buttons on the sleeves uh, so this is a really really fitted crew neck top I think also a mock neck sort of a black mock neck top would look really cute with this as well uh, and then on my feet I've just opted for a little ballerina pump uh, I do think that actually it would probably look a little bit more traditionally flattering if the dress was slightly shorter uh, but again I use those same tricks so I'm keeping the top that I've opted something that is very close cut to the body because the dress itself has so much volume and so much shape to it and then I'm opting for a shoe that is a little bit daintier and slipper as well to play with that proportion at my feet as you visually scan from top to bottom. I think another way if you wanted to make it a little bit more flattering for the same look would be to actually belt it at the waist to give you a little bit more definition there. The final way that I am wearing this dress is actually with a knit over the top so I've opted for a navy knit because I wanted to go for something that was a little bit tonal in terms of the color palette. I've got a belt at my waist which helps to add some definition and actually also acts as an item that I can use to secure my sweater so that it sits in place. You could also actually pull it taut to one side and then use a rubber band or something like that to actually create some tension there so that it will stay slightly cropped and also cinched in but I think a belt is really the best way to go and then on my feet I've opted for a black ballerina flat and I'm utilizing a styling technique or tool called book ending or alternatively sandwiching the colors that you're wearing because I've got a darker color up top then the skirt as this appears is lighter and then I've opted to tonally match my shoes with my top so go for something dark on bottom as well a really really simple trick to use if you aren't sure what shoes to pair with your outfit now one of the things I actually really like about this look is that there's a lot more balance to it because this dress like I said it's got so much volume by cinching it in at the waist it actually helps to uh, bring the hemline of the dress up a little bit exposing more of my ankle which is a slimmer element of my body so you can kind of see that you've got the volume of the skirt and then you have my legs peeking out at the bottom which adds a little bit more visual balance and I think it feels a little bit more harmonious and then by cinching in the dress with a belt really helps to highlight the smallest part of my waist and give me a little bit more of a defined shape so that is the dress and I think it's just such a fun style definitely one I'm looking forward to kind of pulling out a lot more during the spring and then the final item that I purchased is this really cute little halter top from open edit actually I'm gonna pull it off here 
hopefully I can show you a little bit better. Now I chose to get this in a size small and actually I would have been better off with an extra small so I think I'm probably going to take it to the tailor to get it taken in ever so slightly but I'm obsessed with this and it comes in a few different colors, really affordable. It's linen viscose mix, which I really like because it has all those beautiful qualities of linen fabric, has that really uh, soft washed hand feel to it, but it's not going to be as prone to creasing. The back of the top is smocked. Now this is the bit that's actually really quite loose and uh, you can probably see it's quite a light rather than tight elastic. So for that reason alone, I would definitely recommend sizing down. And then I do like the fact that the, uh, strap around the neck the halter is adjustable too so you can set it at your desired fit now for the first way that I would pair this I really wanted to go all sort of summer holiday vibes I'm definitely getting jealous of everyone living in the northern hemisphere right now and I have paired it with my Ghani high-waisted shorts uh, I wanted to go for something that was slightly tonal and I really love the pairing of black and navy together then I've just worn some slip-on sandals on my feet I think that this is a really cute little outfit and the shorts they're a little bit looser and they do have that paper bag effect at the waist and they are slightly longer through the leg they feel very casual which I find really helps to balance out the almost sexiness of this top. The second way that I wanted to pair it was with a wide leg trouser because I feel like wide leg pants are definitely the trouser of the moment and I'm loving the way high pant from Evelyn. I've got it in the linen as well and it really is just beautiful and navy pairs so nicely with camel so I kind of wanted to show that color combination and then I have again just worn that nude strappy sandal on my feet to give me a little bit of extra height but also so that I've just got two blocks of colors. So I've got the navy and then I've got kind of the camel nude on my lower half. Uh, you can see that I'm really playing into the rule of thirds here because my silhouette is broken up into a way that our eye sees as being very visually appealing but it's also very flattering as well. So the top takes up is cropped so it's really one third and then the trousers sort of start from two thirds down my body and they encapsulate the rest of my figure being so long and drapey and they really give you this extra element or this visual illusion of having really long legs which I especially love. And the final way that I decided to wear this top was to play around with dressing it up a little bit and again I've gone for another tonal moment you know how much I love tonal looks so I paired it with a navy zip file skirt that I got from Tibby and this feels really really elegant and refined and it's also very feminine as well so I've definitely leaned into that with the styling by also pairing it with a ballerina pump and I actually feel like this is a kind of outfit that would be really cute worn for us for a summer soiree or maybe even to the ballet if you wanted to go for something that felt very pretty um, and again here you can kind of see how I've played with proportions because the top it does have a little bit more of a fitted appearance on the body and then the skirt is really nice and full and it kind of brings a little bit of drama to the outfit then of course we do have those dainty shoes at my feet I also wanted to show you in the cutaways how it would look with my Birkenstocks as well for something that had a little bit more friction or tension in terms of the pairing so the shoes are really a huge juxtaposition against the femininity of the actual top and skirt combination which I think is really nice but yeah that was the final item that I purchased from Nordstrom I would love to know if you have a favorite piece I'm gonna go ahead and guess that the leopard dress is something that a lot of people aren't going to like just because it's not classically flattering but personally I think that it's a really fun style and I adore the print I just think it is so divine. Um, also, I will have all the details for what I am currently wearing and all my jewelry linked down in the description box as well, along with all of my sizing. These pants are really, really good and they're on sale. So I did just want to mention that just in case, because I'm sure I'll get some questions about them. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go check out my blog post where I've got all of the best of the Nordstrom sale, which I'll have linked in the description box below. And I would love to know if you're planning to buy anything from the Nordstrom sale this year. Last year, I purchased a really, really lovely silk maxi length dress. And I wore that so much when I was pregnant. It was such an easy throw on style for me. And I like the fact that it was washable as well. It made it very, very easy to care for. Anyway, I will see you guys very soon with my next video. Thanks for spending some of your day with me and until next time. Bye!